It's going to be Bilal Hamid to get us going here on day two. Jagji cracks it for four. Well, what a start to the day. Well, picked up and dispatched. That one is large. It's over the fence. Maximo! Because Kumar, he doesn't always fire, but when he does, it's normally trouble for the opposition. Putting pressure on the field and it, that direct hit. Right oh, there, that's close. close. It is, and he's gone. He's a long way down the track. So that was the only, I suppose, thing of concern. But, I mean, to be honest, it was hard to see what it was missing. It's been a pretty entertaining first over, but Kumar goes 4-4 four, four and out. And 6-2 well, and out, actually. Zahid Chima gets over number two. And he's charged out. This will probably plug. And it just gets there. So four runs. Now this should be out. There's a little pop-up leading edge and it's gone. So this is what we're going to see all day, Danny. We're going to have twos and fro's, comings and goings. And that is a big wicket because that's Simranjit Singh who's out very first ball. Well, I think we're going to see a golden Derek. So it makes it more difficult if you're really launching an attack. Bold him. He's gone straight through him. And Zahid Chima. It's a new year, but same old story. Tahir swings all around it. Off stump out of the ground. 21 for three. Yeah, great bowl in there from Chima. He is a quality bowler. Comes very close to the stump, to the, uh, the umpire. Bowls stump to stump. This is a really good shot. Up and over. Maximo. What I mean, look, Jagjit Singh, he just looks like a completely new man. He won't mind me saying that. Oh, now this is hit. But the fielder is coming around, oh. and he's able to take it. It's a brilliant bit of fielding from Zahid Chima. We did it with the ball. Now he does it. He hurls himself down. So Jagjit looked good, but he's the fourth wicket to fall. Bilal gets a second. It's 27 for four. Fantastic catch. He uh, made a lot of ground to it. Let's have another look. It's in the air for quite a while. But say Chima, and he took it inside out a little bit. Yeah, he took it and, and kind of held it to his chest. Oh, oh, no. yeah. Testing his patience. Umpire has a good look and he says, you're gone. And Kings 11, his innings is derailed super quick. Here's Bilal Hamid coming in. Oh, yeah, I mean, that to me was slightly less out than the one before. <laughs> but I still think it might be hitting. I just say, if you miss two like that, you've kind of only got yourself to blame. Probably an umpire's call for hitting the stumps or not. Certainly hit him in line. Half out already. We're not even out of the power play. 27 for five. Anyway, here's Zain Nakvi, who's getting a ball on over number five. This is up. It's in the air. It's going to be into a pocket of space. In fact, it's going to get away for four. If you are going to hit a four, that's one way to do it. Well, this is lifted up, up, and away, and out of the ground. Maximo! Well, Jug meets a guy, and he offers a lot with the bat. And they do bat fairly deep. It's not the worst ball, probably middle and leg, but disappears into the sky. Oh, he's bowled him. Pushed it through, and Jagmeet's played all around it. It's a bit of an arm ball there, but that's a, a crucial six wicket. Just puts Kings Levin back on the back foot. 47 for six, well bowled. And uh, that's the six wicket. Fahan Javade will be the new batter. As Amal Ali, maybe trying to reproduce that delivery. This is the, the, the tossed up one. It says he uses it sparingly, and it's going to be four. All the podiatrists will be in the chat now. Anyway, this one won't be found. That one's over the fence and far away. Maximo Javade, like I said, he's not your regular number eight, and he shows it as he whacks Chima out of the fence. That's another one for the potato farmer. Oh, this one is a bit of a teaser for the fielder, but he's going to get there. Nice fielding. And so Javade just uh, can't quite time that one up. It might have been slightly off, off pace from Chima, but... Uh, well, he comes to the party with a three for, doesn't he? Zahid Chima, the captain. It's also the end of the eighth over. It's 61 for seven. Yeah, there you go. That's all I want. But <laughs> Wait, watch out, because it could oh. be another one. And Chima this time. I mean, it's almost an instant replay of the first one, but this time it bounces out. It doesn't make the stop, so it's, uh, it's a painful single. I hope he's okay. Yeah. Left he shoulder, or maybe it oh, hopefully it hasn't hit him higher than that. All right, last ball coming up, and it's baseball. And, uh, well, I don't think there's any chance of a two here. And they're not even going to take it on. It's a good bit of fielding. I think they'll actually probably get a run out here <laughs> towards the end. So probably one and run out. 
Uh, but it will be 73 for eight then. Yeah, yeah, you can see. There's a little bit of interest from Kamal Jotner. He says, well, I don't think you're coming. And, uh, yeah, they just decide, all right, we'll take the stat. But, look, it'll be 73 on the board, 74 to win. That they might go with that. Javaid and the other players out there. And that's one way to start. A little bit short and it's whacked into the field. Well, wow, it's pretty <laughs> pretty phenomenal batting and ball striking. What an eye he's got Zayn Nakfi. Maximal, the perfect start for Red Tropical. It was absolutely smashed, wasn't it? Now gets another one that he can work away. No outfielder down there. I think that's gone for four. It has. Oh, now he goes inside out. There's nobody back here. I think that's gone all the way. Well, I'll probably have a look at it, but I think that could be Maximo time. Regardless, it's a third consecutive boundary. That's, uh, that's a nice shot. And I think, let's have a look. Oh, I think it's just probably on the road. Four. And a tough start for Subject Singh. Oh, oh, now he <laughs> lifts it away into the gap. And this is going to go the journey. This time it is six. Maximal magical start for Fresh Tropical. Well, we haven't seen this in the tournament off the first over at all. So Zane Nukvi looks like a man in form. Oh, yeah. In hindsight. Oh, that's such a good shot. He's generated so much pace off this. It's going to be four. That was a laser beam. Look how he creates the pace with the hands going through the ball. That is outstanding batting from Nukvi. And this is probably going to be another boundary to start the over. Not a great ball to the left hand. A little bit short. Turns it away. Oh, he's chopped on now. And he's filthy about it. Doesn't it, Gervais? That one just slides across him. No real footwork. Again, wanted to try and go leg side. And there's risks associated with that. And so the first wicket falls. And the bleeding stops for now. 28 for one. Oh. A little bit short. That's <laughs> summarily dispatched. We'll see. Azamali, he's no bunny with the bat either. That one is a tree buster. Maximo. Six runs to start the, six, the third over. The power play is almost over. Nakvi, though, he can beat those wall of, of infielders. And he gets another boundary. Continuing with the left arm spin. Throws the hands at this. He should be gone. And he is gone. Nicely taken. Bahan Javade out there at deep point. Oh, well. Makes it a little bit more interesting, doesn't it, with Nakvi out of the equation. So, yeah, taking the pace off has done the trick so far for Kings Eleven. That's the end of a brief but memorable cameo from Zayn Nakvi. It's 41 for two. You couldn't have a Welsh team. Anyway, up and away, Maximo. Zazimali, he said things have been a bit quiet around here. And that's a really nice shot. He kind of goes with the perceived turn of the left arm spinner and smacks it down to the ground. And he's chopped on, and it's going to be a wicket for Kamal Jot Singh. His first wicket in ECN cricket, so he looks like a handy bowler, doesn't he? I just think if you had five left-arm spinners, you'd probably play him in this format. They're so effective. And so just a little chop on. Mahash goes for a single, and the score is 52 for three. And now this is a bit of extra bounce, and it'll be gone. So Azamali will be a late casualty. Bit of extra bounce from Noman Ali. And, uh, yeah, just kind of throwing the hands at that across the line. A bit of a, a top edge. And held easily by Vikas Kumar behind the stumps. Fresh Tropical lose a fourth wicket now, 59 for four. Goes through the big swing. And it should just be one. They're going to go for two, but it's a really good throw. And I think Ooh, he's gone. Right. Brilliant work. And he's just going to keep on walking. They've gone to the third umpire. But I think the Shaik knows that he's gone. No Manali, he goes up. And you can see there, he is gone. Comes back down on the stumps. Shaikh's gone by a step. Mm -hmm. And so, Fresh Tropical now 66 for five with 10 balls remaining. Yeah, you see there straight away. Change of batter, change of luck. And this will go all the way for four. And he score wins it. Now this is going to be out. Well, there you go. <laughs> There's one of the five they need. Jamil just hangs the bat out. Tries to bunt and run to win the game. But he's a late casualty. 73 for six. Yeah, it's um, too little too late. 
Good little wicket there for uh, for Jagjit. See, now you're dismissing it. One to win. He does go for it, and he'll get the win. So, Fresh Tropical will make hard work in the end. Yeah, as he's mentioned in the chat, lucky they had that magical first over from Nutfield, because things went a little bit awry once he was dismissed. But Fresh Tropical, they do make a winning start to their ECN tournament here in Milan, winning with three balls to spare.